buttons not letting us go up. Coming to you live from SneakerCon. It's very late. As you can see, I haven't even like really packed anything up. Jen made me late. Say hi Nicholas to Nicholas is grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yes, we weren't even in the same room. Yeah, and we have two separate seat. cars. Nah, but Jordan made me late though. He woke nope. up late. Nah, nobody made me late. Actually, we all made ourselves late. All right, let me really record now. Coming to you live from SneakerCon. We got the double vlog action right now. I'm setting up everything. As you can see, I'm extremely late. The event already started. People are starting to fly in and I haven't even had the second side of my rack ready. The table's not ready. We all acting super crazy, but here's the infamous Jennifer. She's here. She made all these rugs herself. That's pretty dope. But my table plan right now is to get all this done. I'm going to put some tees right here and then I'm going to hang basically everything else that I have. And then my goal for the event is... Honestly, I'd say my goal for the event is like 2K. I want to make 2K. I feel like I have more than enough 3M jackets, which I didn't have at Atlanta. And it's gonna be cold here, so I feel like this is gonna be a hot commodity. And then I just have some random things like this. I have one of these left, have some of these hoodies. I feel like these Boston hats are definitely gonna sell. And yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna finish setting up right now. of the convention is currently 111 angel numbers kind of i haven't sold a single item yet so i have zero dollars you know i gotta make that cameo top five lights but i do think that it's still very early people are still walking in so i'm not really worried at all yet if i don't sell anything by like three then i'll start worrying but a lot of people said they're gonna come back for the jacket what up so i wanted to do another update it is currently 220 right now and i still haven't sold one item to be honest, I'm really not worried. I've been to too many sneer cons to be like, oh my God, it's two o'clock, I haven't sold anything. Like all it really takes is a wave of people. Like there could be someone who wants to buy, there could be a group of people who really want to buy like four jackets and they all know each other, you know what I mean? So I'm not really stressing. I'll start stressing, like I said, it's like 3.30 comes and I still haven't sold something. My stress level go from zero to like two. As of right now, I'm really chilling. I'm just giving about a bunch of business cards, networking with people. And when things sell, when things sell. Quick update, it's currently 3.30 and like I was saying over and over, you just gotta wait. You gotta weather the storm. As of right now, I have $530. Some of that is honestly courtesy to all things JDM. So if you're watching this video, shout out to you, bro. Um, your friend, your, your hidden ninja came and supported the small brand. So I definitely appreciate you for that. Let's walk around and see what we got. We got some PS5s, which I still don't have. But I want to walk around and show you guys. If you've never been to Sneer Con or you're just kind of curious, it's basically Comic Con or any con really. But this one is streetwear and clothes and small brands. Like, if you're into shoes, you see everything that's in here. That's fire. I'm going to try to get a mix of everything. So, right now, as you guys see, it's a whole bunch of shoes. I'll show you guys some more shoes if you're into shoes. So, these are Grails. These are Heineken Dunks, those go for a lot of money. These are called Mama Bears, those go for a lot of money. That's Kanye West's, one of his first signature shoes with Louis Vuitton, also a lot of money. This probably be like a 1985 Jordan 1, all thousands and thousands of dollars. But then you also have stuff like this. So this is a small brand, I'm assuming. He's selling like lights. So we got some sneaker clocks, Spike Lee, some wall clocks over here, that's pretty dope. Then this guy Anderson Blue, he makes really good artworks too. I'll show that. And then here's like a good example of like a small business. So he makes all of this. You can see all nice with frames, really dope. And then what other small businesses we got over here? More sneakers. Let me try to get away from this music. It's way too loud. Let's see what we got. Uh, here's another good example of some sneer con things that people may not expect but high-end luxury bags so Louis Vuitton, Gucci, wallets all pretty dope another really dope thing is this Nick Diamond if you guys know who he is and if you know you know he has a display here it's really dope some basketball skateboard decks he's actually signing them too so there he is right there with that jacket on nick diamond oh he just signed some um tiffany dunks that's really dope and we got this huge ebay exhibit 
another cool thing about sneaker con is they partnered with ebay so now they have like a really cool legit booth right there so basically if you bring sneakers here and you want to just confirm that they're legit you would wait on that line over there and you're able to just have a sneaker authenticator confirm that they're real and they put a little like geotag kind of on it and that way when someone buys it you have like the sense of security of like okay the shoe is actually legit but swore and like 500 dollars and then they also have this little thing right here where you get a free sticker, hoodie, sneakers, a whole bunch of stuff. And you basically just wait on this line really quickly. And you get to spin a wheel and you can win some sneakers or something. But it's free though, so it's kind of cool. I know, right? You said get rid of them. I know. If I win free shoes right here, I'm giving it away for free. This is the lucky one. Let's get back to the table, bust these sales. It's about four o'clock now, and we got three hours left to make $1,500. So let's see how it's going. I feel like a proud dad right now. My homie, Jay Monet right here. The girl who made all these custom rugs. If you guys ever want a custom rug too, here's her card. Hit her up on Instagram. She also makes sneaker art. She's getting interviewed right now at SneakerCon. Love to see it. Closing time. Convention is coming to an end right now. Here's a recap of Sneaker Con 2021, Boston. Um, honestly, Sneaker Con has been a little dead since COVID. And I don't know if it's because of COVID or there's just so many other ways to buy sneakers and like platforms and stuff. But my goal was 2K. I probably made like, I don't know, I probably made like 11, I don't know. I don't count my money to the very, very end because I don't want money to be the reason. So it probably made like, I don't know, at least a thousand, but maybe 11, maybe 900, honestly, I have no idea. But at the end of the day, as long as I make my money back for my expenses and I give out hundreds of business cards, it's a W. So thank you for watching, peace out. So we made it back to Queens with little to no issues. There's only one thing that happened to the Bravo on the way back from Boston and is that my clip basically I, i'm assuming it just latched off but my door doesn't open from either way so hopefully i could just take off the door card kind of clip it back in if you guys know what i mean and then it'll be working 100 percent fine again but again the bravo gave me no issues i made it there all the way back drove it comfortably much better mpgs like i was saying and now for the moment of truth let's count how much money i have it's like two days later so i kind of know how much already but i don't have like the total total amount so the goal was 2k but after counting it yesterday i know i have like 750 from cash app and venmo and then i spent so much cash just on the way back and i spent 200 on new tires on the jimny and i still have about like one two one two three four five three hundred and then a whole bunch of like 10 to 20. So I'm gonna honestly say, cause I couldn't tell you exactly cause I drove back um, after the convention and I wasn't able to kind of like do my traditional sit in the hotel room and count it. But I think this show was a little better than I thought. I think I said early in this video, I would made like 1100, but I'm gonna say just with, I have 1100 right now and I spent 200 on tires, probably 150 on food and gas and stuff on the way back and then just in the last couple days so i probably made close to like 1500 so boston was i mean i wouldn't say much better than i thought but i guess when i left the show i was like damn i probably only scratched a thousand but now nah, i probably got close to like 15 16 so that's really good i'm going to cleveland december 18th weekend so catch you guys out there if anybody has a k truck out there definitely let me know we could do a little meet i try to go to these cities and like kind of kill two birds in one stone it'd be cool if i can do like clothing line stuff and bring everything in the back of here but then also do like a k truck meet but i don't know if there's a lot of people out there i know if i go to like florida or something it'd be much easier but um thank you guys for watching peace out sneaker con was a w see you in cleveland mm -hmm.